What's wrong? I'm terrified. Hang on tight. Okay, okay, you've down, you're down. I want you to instruct me on how to win Liu Li's approval. I like you. I... Like you. How was that? Keep practicing, keep practicing. I like you. The 13th Prince treats you well. You're still an imposter. I just saw him with another palace lady. What were they doing? It was like this. Gazing at each other. Smiling so sweetly. Walk barefoot from here to over there and I'll grant your wish. You'll be able to be with your 13th Prince. I'll let you meet. Deputy Commander Fei Yanggu's daughter, Fucha Shuning, from the bordered yellow banner Manchu. Daughter of Great General Shu Jai, Yehenara Jinchun, from the plain blue banner Manchu. Daughter of Secretary Ma Erhan, Zhao Jia Chen Xiang. Hurry along the line now. What are you crying for? I'm talking about you. Shut up. Have you inspected all of them carefully? If we let some unknown disease into the Imperial Palace. Don't any of you even think of staying alive anymore? Didn't that hurt? It hurt. Why didn't you cry out then? I endured it. What is your name? Zhao Jia Chen Xiang. The palace is different from the outside. If you do well, your master will reward you, and your path will be smooth and peaceful. If you don't do well, losing your life is not uncommon. Turn away! That is the doorway to paradise. If you pass through it, you will be exalted. 
Let's go. My mother gave me. Who ran away? Stop rolling away. Stop rolling. Why wouldn't you listen to me? You little brat! Forcing me to come find you. Is this a place you can visit freely? Thirteenth Lord! Where are you? Open the door! Thirteenth Lord! Thirteenth Lord! Where are you, Thirteenth Lord? Don't come in here! Thirteenth Lord! Where are you? I've told you all that I should tell you. Whoever is out of line will be punished. Why does this novice not know the rules around here? She has something good, but she doesn't share it with everybody. My mother gave this to me. Grab it! No, don't! Don't take what my mother gave me! Did that hurt? I barely hit you. Tell me, do I look better from this side? Ghost, ghost, get away! Don't be afraid. If they bully you again, just tell me. My name is Liu Li. And I run errands in Changshi Sisuo. Have one. I am Chen Xiang, and I also run errands for Changshi Sisuo. I will be your friend here in the palace. And you can be my friend too. How about it?
What is that noise? Let's go look! Isn't that pretty? Hurry up! Hurry up! This way! What do you think? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't she cold wearing so little? We servants were just passing by. Okay, very well. Are you two new here? What are your names? Stupid Chun Shu, what are you doing? Come here, you afraid? Beautiful sister, forgive me, I was wrong. Don't pinch him anymore, he's begged you for forgiveness. Don't disrupt the meeting of his majesty with the future mistress, or she will blame you. Have you dragged away and beheaded? How is she a future mistress? It's true. She's dancing here and waiting for the emperor. If she can meet with his majesty, and she finds favor with his majesty, won't his majesty then make her one of the mistresses? What happens if his majesty does not like her? Then I do not know. This all depends on the individual's good luck. Today, I will teach everyone two words. The words end result. Every year, a few people break the rules in the palace. This is the end result. Okay, since this is not your business, go about your work. Who was she? Move along, hurry up! Move along! Grab it, hurry! Food you should not eat until full. Otherwise, you won't be able to serve well. Do you understand this? I do. Here! <laughs> Chen Xiang, come quickly! Chen Xiang! Coming, coming! Wait for me. One, two, three! That was very fun! Very fun! Listen to me! Really? Wait for me! Chen Xiang, Luli, you, don't move. Do I look pretty? What's with the makeup? Better not let Gugu -Gu see you. Do you want makeup like mine? Stop right there! Time truly has flown, early spring. In a flash, it's been seven years since we entered the palace. Palace ladies who reach age 25? are allowed to leave the palace. Five more years and we can leave. Being 25 years old in order to leave is still too old. Don't grab, don't grab. I have news. Here, me too, me too. This red one is the whereabouts of the princes. Price is three tails. This blue one is the crown prince's whereabouts. Price is ten tails. This yellow one is most powerful. This is the Emperor's whereabouts. His Majesty. Price is 30 tails. No. You've been looking at that all day. Aren't you done looking at it? Tell me, what will happen if the Prince sees me? Oh, he'll kiss you. And then embrace you. And then kiss you again. How embarrassing. Mm -hmm. 
Chen Xiang, have you ever been kissed by a man? No, of course not. I haven't either. Tell me how it feels. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. How does it feel now? You're making me blush. Let me kiss you again, okay? Let me kiss you. Chen Xiang, do you know that men and women are not the same? How are they not the same? Do you want to know? I'll show you. Have you gone crazy thinking about men? Stop arguing and go to sleep. Be careful, don't damage anything. Really so bossy. You, what are you two doing, making trouble? These paintings are by famous masters. If they are ruined, who will be responsible? Be careful in your service. Yes. Chunshou, Chunshou. Coming, coming, my stomach hurt. I went to the washroom. You should help out here. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch. Chen Xiang. Come quickly and look. Chen Xiang, what are you looking at, silly? You don't even... Who is that? If he liked me, that would be great. I'm sure you all want me to tell you who that is in the painting. This is none other than the 13th Prince, Yinsheng, a favorite son of His Majesty. His Majesty simply adores this son, because he's not only good at zither, chess, literature, and art, but everything else. Furthermore, his archery and writing are great, too. It's said that His Majesty took the 13th Prince hunting in Nanwan about a year ago. On the spur of the moment! something wrong, Chen Xiang? Chen Xiang, what's wrong? You were saying something? Look, she's drooling! Stop laughing, stop laughing! The Crown Prince has been making mistakes lately. Even the High Ministers are in favor of the Eighth and Ninth Princes. This group of people is very ambitious, as you know. If the crown prince is deposed, I'm afraid there will be quite an upheaval. What are you afraid of? Your little brother is here beside you. We will all contribute to making it a life and death struggle. Are you okay? Respectfully greeting the 13th Prince. Just now, did you hear anything? I... Fourth brother, don't stare at her like that. She is already very frightened. Let's go. Chen Xiang, Liu Li. 
What are you doing here? Aren't you on night duty at the study? I just came to tell you that Chun Shu told me that the Ninth Prince will go through the garden today. I don't want to miss such a good chance. So, I want you to replace me. What? That's not a good idea. Why is it not good? I... I mean, the palace officials are everywhere. If someone finds out, we'll get beheaded. That's not likely. Nobody goes to the study at night. So, even if you're discovered, you'll have this. What's this for? Cover your face with this. Say you have a cold and cannot be exposed to the wind. I don't think anyone will risk the danger of infection and investigate this matter any further. Well, good friends, do you want to sit and watch me patiently until 25 until I can leave the palace, not being wanted by any man growing old alone, then right? Okay, okay. I knew you'd agree. There, don't worry. After I successfully become a great lady, I won't ever forget you. <laughs> Ninth, Ninth Prince. This servant deserves death. May the Ninth Prince calm his anger. Ninth Prince, your clothing is wet. May your servant help you change clothes so you won't catch a cold. Ninth Prince, you've misunderstood. I was just... Ninth Prince, please spare my life. Your servant will go to the Imperial Household Bureau and ask to be beaten. Stop. you Thirteenth Prince Your servant greets the Thirteenth Prince. Why is your face covered with that? Your servant has a cold and may otherwise infect others. Come here. Help me catch butterflies. What are you doing? Don't you think it's awfully dark here? Besides, it's better to see the butterflies flying this way. Carefree and freely flying? If they are caged up, they might die before the night has ended. Who told you this? My mother. Do you know what this place is? This is where my birth mother her Highness Consort Min lived before she passed away. I was very young still when she left. When she walked through here, numerous butterflies would surround her. It was like she was an immortal from the heavens. Ever since she has passed away, I have dreamed about a swarm of butterflies. Today is her birthday. She will come to see me for sure. Son, I am not a witch. I am not a witch.
You came. What a beautiful shoe. How did you do that? Honey? Excellent! If my mother could see that a large swarm of butterflies came here, she would definitely be very happy. Thank you! I... What's your name? There used to be a cage here, I'm telling you. that I lost an earring here once. I saw you before back when I was young. Let me see your face. Liu Li. Liu Li. Liu Li. Liu Li. Look at this needlework. It is a work of art. You can tell how intelligent the maker is. Old Thirteenth. You have great taste. My mother, Consort D, is teasing me. I have not even seen the maid's face. Nor do I know which palace she serves in. Mother, please forgive me for begging for you to find her, and may Mother not be offended. The two of you may have this fate. It may be predestined. I have heard that last night you went there once more. Don't worry. I will find that young palace lady for you. Thank you, Mother Consort. Hurry up! Ninth Prince. You promised that when you came back you would take me in. Why haven't you kept your promise? Do you want to know why? I have no intention to. What do you mean? Palace ladies, princes, are not suitable. 
How could you do this to me? Aren't you afraid I'll turn you in? Go right ahead. I dare you to turn it in. When the time comes, I'll tell them you seduced me, the prince. Do you believe they will believe me? Or you? Hands off! Unhand me! I don't know which palace lady they have a fortunate life. She let the 13th prince see her during the night. Really? See the goldfish and peonies embroidered on the handkerchief? This could bring them together. Precisely. How odd. Elder sisters, may I see the drawing in your hand? Why is it you? If it wasn't me, who would you expect it to be? Looking at you makes me want to vomit. Come, 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 sit down. What are you doing? This servant, Chun Shu, pays his respects to Mistress Chen Xiang. Right. Let me ask you this. Last night, did you replace Liu Li for night duty? Did you run into the 13th Prince? How did you know? Oh my, it really was you. Let me say that I, as your servant, congratulate you. The 13th Prince is looking all around the palace for you now. You are about to change into a phoenix. This is heaven's will, you know. This when you become a mistress. Don't forget I was your servant, right? Let's go. Go where? To change clothes and get made up. To go get your husband. Precisely. Chen Xiang. Chen Xiang, did you know that Liu Li caught the attention of the 13th Prince last night? Her Highness Consort De has ordered the marriage, along with instruction in etiquette at Shufangjai. Eventually, she will become the 13th Prince's wife. May I talk to you in private? What are you doing? I know you're upset. And blaming me for taking something that belongs to you. I did not intend to do this. Her Highness Consort Day suddenly asked me. Was I on night duty last night? How could I say I wasn't? If I said I wasn't, this would have been a major offense. It's fine for me, but I didn't want to implicate you. If you can't forgive me, then I'll kill myself in front of you now. Chen Xiang, don't worry. Her Highness Consort Day has promised me that you will be an attendant in my palace. So in the future, we will always be together. I will not treat you badly. Changing rooms! May this be given a thousand blessings. You may rise. How does it look? Very pretty. If I forget any rules, you'll have to tell me afterwards. Yes.
Greetings to the 13th Prince. No need to be formal. So this is how you look. 13th Prince, Her Highness Consort D is waiting for us. Bowing ceremony! Be seated. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. This palace will be like your own home in the future. If you need anything, please tell me. And I will make the arrangement for you. Thank you, Your Highness. These are clothes I personally embroidered before marriage. But before I could wear them, I had already entered the palace. I think these may fit you. Come and try them on. Yes. <laughs> Pack them up. Pack them up! <laughs> Go back. I heard that Miss Liu Li was born into a servant's family. It's expected that she's not used to our flower pot shoes. The rules of the palace must be learned very well. There are so many rules in the palace. By the time Miss has finished learning them, her head will be covered with white hair. If you want to appear dignified in front of people, you have to suffer behind them first. Does it hurt? It doesn't hurt, Gugu. -goo. Stand properly. Pay attention. Just a moment. Stop right there. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to other one. Are you Liu Li's personal maid? Come here. What is this? This is the world outside. World outside of here? Come over here for a moment. I don't know what your mistress likes to eat. I made these snacks myself. Please help me choose some. My mistress is not picky. She will eat anything. Thirteenth Prince, if there is nothing else, the servant will take her leave. Stop right there. Turn around. Come here. Sit. Taste one bite. Taste one bite. Delicious? Delicious. Great. Here, taste this one. Delicious? It's great, too. There's also tangalu and sweet potato and twisted deep-fried dough. Eat some more, so you'll know which tastes the best. Go! Her Highness Consort De has arrived. Smile. The line under your feet, walk straight. Stay steady, steady! Here, last one. Can't eat anymore. The mistress of my family will like these. The mistress will probably like this. I will give you some tea. You are treating our Luli very well. Actually, I do not understand why it is. But I feel... She is unlike other ladies. When I think about that night, I am very happy. That night, when she captured the butterflies, she also captured my heart. Actually, on that night, Thirteenth Prince, I have tasks to do. I will take my leave. If I were you, I'd tell him everything immediately. Liu Li wanted to exchange with you only to get wealth and position. Not how a friend is at all. Don't say anything further. Maybe it's not my fate.
Why did you have me brought here? What's wrong? I'm terrified. Hang on tight. Okay, okay, you've down, you're down. Good thing I had you try it first. If that had been Luli instead on the horse today, she'd be very angry at me. Are you injured? Miss Tianxiang, to be honest, I am not a refined man. I grew up in the army camps. So I really don't know what women like. What's wrong? I am Chen Xiang. What did I say? Tian Xiang. Is that so? Okay, Miss Chen Xiang. I want you to instruct me on how to win Liu Li's approval. Actually, all girls are exactly the same. They are reserved on the outside, but in their hearts, they wish to be adored by someone. To be loved, they all wish to be embraced by someone tightly. Most important, you must look into the depths of her eyes and tell her, I like you. I like you. Too blunt. The girls don't like it that way. I like you. What? So fake. I like you. I... Like you. How was that? Keep practicing, keep practicing. I like you. Recently, the 13th Prince has been very romantic. He has one hidden in Shufang Jai. He has another besides this one. That's just like us. We're always in thinking about the Empire. We're so bussy, our heads are unsettled. You're telling me... This is great. Great? If the Crown Prince, 4th and 13th, are all so concerned, everything is then leak-proof. To find their weak point, it can only be this. Let's go, Master. Who's there? Didn't I tell you to not let anyone in? I'm here to serve you, miss. Me. This woman who has been abandoned by you can't have a way out? Woman. Here it comes! Like it? What a pity I already belong to the 13th Prince. Well, he's not the Emperor. Just wait and see when the Emperor passes away. Whether or not he's the Emperor. You seriously? Do you know what this is? Give it here. Know what that is? What is it? Army token. This can mobilize a national army. I knew you had me in your heart, but I didn't know you were this hot. You're speaking nonsense. Even if the 13th Prince treats you well, you're still an imposter. I just saw him with another palace lady. What were they doing? It was like this. Gazing at each other. Smiling so sweetly. Miss, why are you here? Waiting for you. You're very pretty today. Tell me, did you have fun with the 13th Prince? Your servant. You know you are only my servant. How dare you try to seduce the 13th Prince, how bold you are. The 13th Prince asked me as your servant about what you liked. I didn't want to offend. Really? 
now that this matter has turned out this way, should I thank you for this? How can we change it? From today, do not meet the thirteenth prince again. Or else... Chun Shou! Of the three of us who grew up together, you and he have the best relationship. He's always acted for your benefit. So from now on, if you err again, he'll be punished or worse. Respectfully greeting the 13th Prince. I was just looking for you. Are you free today? No. Tomorrow? Not tomorrow either. Not the day after tomorrow either. Walk. Whisper. Kneel to show respect. It only took a month to train her to this level. Already not bad. Your Highness. How is this really good? This year, I drink the soup Luli has made, and I feel a lot better. Liuli, your soup, how did you make it? I think it's good, and I would like the Imperial Physician to learn it too. As long as it's not a family secret? Liuli, since Her Highness Consort D has personally asked, please give her your secret recipe. You see that? She acts all filial now. Now she's not willing to give out her secret recipe. What can there be to not tell in it? Exactly. Your Highness has misunderstood. This is? Your Highness, please forgive me. I looked up an ancient prescription, and I cut myself. Why have you done such a silly thing? This must really hurt. It doesn't hurt. It really doesn't hurt. Such a good child. I'm very indebted to you. That must have been difficult for you. I'm truly touched. If you should need anything, I want to thank you on behalf of Her Highness Concubine D. Just a small thing. No need to thank me. Chen Xiang, help me take good care of your miss. Yes. <laughs> huh? You didn't cut yourself. That would have been very painful. I'm not that foolish. It was just an act. Don't you know that? If someone finds out what you did, what will the aftermath be? Like someone might kill me? Not too late to cut it now. What are you doing? Let me go. Let go. Miss... Mister... That fur? What fur? Is your vision blurry? Did I not say not to let anyone in here? Why did you barge in here? I... Thirteen Prince is looking for you. Your servant takes her leave. Chen Xiang. No matter what, you and I are still sisters here. You mustn't speak nonsense to the Thirteenth Prince. Write faster. I promised to Her Highness Consort to that before sunset I would finish copying this scripture for her. This is the tea Her Highness Consort degranted to me. I made this specially for you. I missed the past when we were both so carefree. 
Do you remember back when we smashed those watermelons? That was so much fun. Thirteenth Prince has arrived! Gather sweet flowers while you can, but not the stems of the flowers. Respectfully greeting the Thirteenth Prince. Leave off the ormalities. Rise, rise. Thirteenth Prince, isn't your highness due at morning court right now? Why did you come here instead? Why did you write to me to come here so early in the morning? Do you possibly have something to tell me? Let me tell you, don't overthink this. I'm marrying you and it's confirmed. Okay, I'm off to morning court. I'll come by and see you later. Yes. Do not gather flowers where only the stem is left. You wanted to tell the 13th Prince that my flower has already been gathered. Hence he should gather a flower like you, isn't that so? You are only a junior palace attendant. You want to take him from me? What gives you the right... I don't have the right, but the Thirteenth Prince is a good man. May Miss be sincere with him. Let me think it over. How should I punish you for this? I've got it. That stupid eunuch, Chun Shu, will die soon. This doesn't concern him. May Miss please spare his life. Don't plead for him. Beg on your own behalf. I am going to ask the 13th Prince to grant you to Chun Shou as a marriage match. However, the wedding night can't go on without a groom. Think this over carefully. Don't blame me for not warning you. If you have to think too long, I'm afraid that even if I want to free him, you would have to go to Underworld to find him. Stop. Why are you here? This servant wants to make a request of the 13th Prince. Tell me. I want to marry Chun Shou. You're not joking, right? Okay, I agree. Girls like it like this. The hot water is prepared. Go clean up, change into the clean clothes. We're getting married. I won't bother you in the future. Please let me die now. What are you doing? You still have to make me live well? Is there any other choice? If you die, I've no reason to live anymore. I'm sorry. If it had not been for me, you could go now and tell the truth on Liu Li, and then you could be with the 13th Prince. It's not like that. The 13th Prince accepted Liu Li in the beginning, perhaps because of my influence on him. But now it's too late. Liu Li is already rooted in the depths of his heart. Why should I care anymore? I don't have any energy to continue on now. Fate brought us together. This is our fate.
Chen Xiang, Chen Xiang. The 18th prince has left. The palace now prohibits any happy events. The Gugu in charge wanted me to let you know. Your wedding with Chen Shu must be pushed back. All of you older brothers just put on an appearance of being together to send someone off. And only when someone dies of illness do certain individuals show up. And only then can you see what kind of deep brotherhood is here. Crown Prince, tell me what you were doing at the time. You didn't do anything at all. Usually, you showed brotherly affection. You even dared to act that way in front of me. Imperial Father, I knew that the 18th Prince liked this. So I burned the midnight oil making it, but it was still too late for him to see it. May Imperial Father please give this to my 18th brother. Good. You are still the one who cares. Let's go. Come with me to the Prince's residence, so you may give it to him now. Who knows? This. His Majesty is departing. He wouldn't let me out the entire day. I was so bored. <laughs> Brother Ninth? Teacher, thank you. Yep. Oh. Who are you looking for? What did that person want from you just now? That customer was here to learn from me. He said that his father was not in a good mood lately. So he wanted to learn some opera skills to cheer him up. I want to learn this too. To learn it well, it's very important I do this. Better than he does it. Tell everyone. Inside the palace, not only are singing and dancing prohibited, but all bright clothing is disallowed. And no red lanterns may be displayed. All the palaces are to copy the Buddhist mantras 100 times in order to pray for the 18th prince. Bastard! Who dares to do this? Have my words fallen on deaf ears? Replying to Imperial Father, it is I. Child. In order to do this performance, I have not slept for several nights. Imperial Father, do you like this? You... You bastard! His Majesty is departing. Imperial Father said, since he's proven to be so apathetic about his own brother's death, and there's no guarantee he'll ensure the safety of his subjects. His Majesty is now adamant about deposing the Crown Prince. This Crown Prince, I've told him many times to restrain himself, but he never will listen. The Crown Prince told me it was the Ninth Prince who made him do it. You think Imperial Father will believe that? Originally, I thought that... Supporting this idiot of a crown prince would help our cause in the court and create a hopeful future for the citizens. From what I have seen today, there is no hope left at all. Fourth brother, why don't you do it yourself? 
I am the son of a consort, so there's no excuse for action. In addition, Imperial Father is not entirely satisfied with us. We can't just let the 8th and 9th brothers snatch this from us. 13th younger brother, Imperial Father's behavior has been strange lately. On your mother's anniversary day, you went to Yanshi Palace. When Imperial Father heard about it, he was not happy. I have heard that he wants Yangshi Palace sealed up. Elder Fourth Brother, have you heard the phrase, pulling the ladder away from the upper floor? Tomorrow, Imperial Father will go hunting in Nanwan. I will take the soldiers and ambush him, even at the cost of my life. Mother? I, your son, am taking action not because of a wish to be crown prince. I'm sure you will understand me. Take right? You scared me. Luli, what if I wasn't the 13th prince? What if I had nothing? What would you do then? I... I like the person inside, not the identity. Good, I haven't misjudged you. Did something happen to you? Don't scare me. Let's go. The Crown Prince is in trouble. Tomorrow, I'm taking soldiers to ambush Imperial Father, to make him listen to my remonstrance. This? I know this is really dangerous, and if we don't do it well, we will lose our lives. And I need to inform you. If something happens to me tomorrow, leave the palace by yourself. Seek out Her Highness Consort D. You did a favor for her once, so she'll definitely help you. If what you told me is true, 13th Prince will take action against Imperial Father soon. I'm sure they will take action tomorrow. That's great. Who's there? Chen Xiang. Consort D is here. Move back. Men. Thirteenth Prince. Today is sunny and calm. It's a good day for hunting. I am very happy. Both of you are very skilled in archery and riding. You must do well today. Do not disappoint me. Thirteenth, you seem preoccupied. I'm fine. Good. Let's get started. Father, I'm here. Old Ninth, surround them. Yes. Thirteenth Prince, come with me and attack from the front.
Imperial Father! Imperial Father, this was my bad idea. Only... You! The 13th Prince, Yin Xiang, blocked His Majesty's sacred entourage with the intention of rebellion. He is to be imprisoned in Zhongren Palace and tried thereafter. End of edict. <laughs> Ninth Prince, now that this matter has come to this, what should I do? Well... Don't you ever take me for a fool? If I were to be implicated, you can forget getting away. What do you mean? The messages about the Thirteenth Prince. When I passed them to you, I also copied them into Her Highness Consort D's scriptures. As you know, Her Highness Consort D is usually the most sincere. Even if you don't see her today, you will tomorrow. You. <laughs> As a woman who has been abandoned, I have no choice but to be thorough in my schemes. Your Highness, what gift did you prepare for His Majesty? As the Son of Heaven, he lacks nothing. I want to give him a gift, a different one. Let me show you. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Her Highness Consort Min is able to attract butterflies. She must be a female demon. If Your Majesty does not get rid of this demon, the consequences will be dire. Your Majesty, the southern lands have been suffering drought for a long time. They say it is the fault of demons! Your Majesty, the Empire takes precedence. Get rid of the demon! Stabilize the Empire! Kill the demon! I'm not demon! Your Majesty, this is what we found in Her Highness's room. It was only a fireworks flare. Please let the 13th Prince off. Thirteenth Prince! He's ruined. His eyes are blinded and... He's locked up in Zhongren Palace. I want to see him. You can't. You're not allowed to. What I don't want, you can't have either. Don't pretend to be pitiful. Let me tell you, all this happened because you forced me to do it. You want to see the 13th Prince, right? Fine. I'll give you the chance to see him. Walk barefoot from here to over there and I'll grant your wish. You'll be able to be with your 13th Prince. I'll let you meet.
Thank you for your good intentions. This is for you to buy good wine. Okay, okay. Make it fast. Don't let anyone see you or I'll get punished. Thank you. Please be kind. Call me if you need me. Go in now. Is it you, Liu Li? I know you're not her. If Liu Li liked me, she would have been barefoot by now. The butterflies have flown away. They will return next year. Do you know... I never thought you'd come to see me. I never dreamed of it either. This is great. Did Imperial Father give you any trouble? Were you implicated? No. Nothing. Then that's good. Your eyes? My eyes are fine. The blindness is temporary. I'm doing just fine right now. I can still beat someone to death. There's no problem, you must believe me. My eyes will be cured soon. Because I want you to visit me every day. I can wait for my eyes to be well again. So that the first person I see is you. This is wonderful. Taste it. How is it? Still eating yet. Still eating? I didn't make it for you. The soup, the soup's boiling over. Soup's boiling over. You, stop eating that. Elder brother, I beg you, let me in. I told you several times already, go away! Yesterday was fine, why not today? Yesterday was okay, today is not. Elder brother, I'll go in quickly. I just want to take this in. You can't go in, don't stand in my way! My dishes. Doctor! Doctor! How is the 13th Prince? Is he a little better? Can you let me in, please? Miss, go away, please. There are no such permissions in the palace. I beg of you, Doctor. Please let me go in. Stop it! Master, Master! The acupuncture test patient couldn't take the pain. He ran away. Will I do? You? Are you prepared? Okay, follow me. His Majesty's body is very precious. Any medication or acupuncture that is applied to his body must be tested on other persons countless times first. Only when it's been determined that there is no danger in action be taken. Aren't you going to close that? It's not too late to change your mind. As long as you can take me to that guarded room. 
Okay. I will grant your wish then. Get into the water. Chen Xiang, don't jump in. Chen Xiang, why are you doing this? I know you're upset with me. I I don't know what's wrong with me. I have done so many despicable things too. Chen Xiang, I beg of you, forgive me. Can we return to the past? We are still good sisters, isn't it so? Good. The drug is taking effect. Brother. Over here. You came. I waited for a long time. What do you mean by this? This white hat. To all others, may not be worth anything, but to the emperor, it's a very precious thing. Add the word "by" to the Wang character. Adding Bei to Wang gives you precisely Huang. What's wrong with you? I've been waiting for you. Why are you here only now? I had something to do. Leave then. Leave. Do you know how many days it's been since you came here? I thought you were dead. I'll come another day. I'll come another day to see you. Liu Li, I really need you now. Don't abandon me. Please don't leave me. I have nothing now. I don't even have you anymore. All gone. Go now. <laughs> you will not lose me. Your complexion looks better. Your eyes have not recovered. The doctor comes every day to do acupuncture. I believe they will be cured in no time. That's good then. Imperial Father's health isn't good right now. All the clans are waiting to move in.
I've decided to do as you said and cast my lot in too. Fourth brother, you're a well-rounded talent and should have done this earlier. I'm just a bit worried about you. Fourth brother, I'm very well. You don't have to worry at all. Liu Li comes to visit me every day. The one from Shu Fang Jai? There's something that I'm not sure I should tell you. I made some steamed cakes. I do not know if they will be to your liking. What do you want to find out from me? What did you say? I don't understand. Fourth brother told me that you're together with the ninth brother. I didn't believe it at first. I've always been puzzled. You're the woman of my household. I'm under house arrest. And you're unharmed? And you can even come and go freely? So it turns out you've been with the ninth brother from the start. Therefore, the only reason you come to see me is to spy on me, right? It's not like that. Then what is it? Did you think your scheme could succeed? Do you think all the men of the Ace and Gioro clan can be manipulated by you? I'll tell you this. I've never really liked you. You're just a plaything to me, just like a prostitute. Are you angry? Are you even ashamed? You! Ashamed to the point of rage? Very well. On the account of the fact I have lain with you, I won't hold it against you. Go. Get on a horse and leave me! Are you really saying this? Yes. Whether I'm really Luli or not? You mean you never liked me? Never. I understand. Doctor, be careful! No problem, no problem. Ninth Prince, the Emperor. His Majesty is... Ninth younger brother, it's very late. Why did you bring soldiers here? What do you mean to do? Imperial father has gone to heaven. I rushed here to mourn. Imperial father is merely in a deep sleep. If you put it that way, this is exactly how I would put it. Who says so? Hand over the sacred edict immediately. Otherwise, don't blame me for not being courteous. Men! Kill him! Are you really going to fight against me? Don't tell me you don't care about the lives of your families. Brother Ninth, to think you went to the trouble of bribing all eight of the great generals in the capital. What a pity you were careless in one aspect, and forgot to protect their families. I've already ordered men to bury explosives under their manners. If anything happens to me at all, they will be the collateral damage. Why are you still standing here like fools? Do you believe his nonsense? Dreams of wealth and powerful position, glory and splendor. 
Why? All for the sake of your family's peace and happiness? If one has all the wealth and power in the entire world, what use is it? If you've lost all your loved ones, but you're remaining alive, is there any meaning then? He's lying! Do you believe it? In this forbidden city, all men are under my command. Kill him! The world is yours and mine now! You know that. The world already belongs to the Ninth Prince. Do you want to live? Kill! Kill. Kill! 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 Kill him! Kill him! Bastard. Haven't you people fought enough? I'm not dead yet. You listen carefully. The fourth prince, Yinjin, is upright and capable. I can depend on him. Ninth Prince Yintang charged into my palace on his own initiative and staged a rebellion to be imprisoned at Zhongren Fu and tried thereafter. As for the rest of you, Your Majesty. His Majesty, he. His Majesty has passed away. There's someone behind the Emperor. Old Fourth. Before Imperial Father passed away. He didn't tell us how to punish you. According to the law of the Qing Empire, trespassing onto the palace grounds is punishable with nine generations extinction. But as I have just ascended the throne, I will pardon everyone. This matter can be considered erased. Pledge your loyalty to me and everything will be the same as before. I can even grant you the golden token that will pardon you from death. But continue to follow Ninth. Not only will you not keep your families, but depending on his character. Do you think he'll let you go, knowing you are all witnesses to this failed coup? I will kill you! Let me go! Let go! Let go! Long, Long live, live the, the emperor. emperor! Take him out. Let me go! Let go! What kind of emperor is a liar? Fourth, you're a liar! What kind of emperor are you? Let me go! Let me go! Fourth! Announce to the world. His majesty has passed away. His majesty has passed away. Kneel! Bow! Long live the Emperor! Long live, Long live the Emperor! Long live the Emperor! Long live the Emperor! Fourth brother? The Imperial Physician has done a great merit. Reward him well. Thank you, Your Majesty.
I heard that the thirteenth prince's eyes are cured. In addition, His Majesty has let him out of confinement. What's that to do with me? I... I'm telling you, you should quickly go find the thirteenth prince and tell him. That all those days, the one taking care of him was you. And not Liu Li! Then the two of you could... I don't want to. Very well. Gugu has work to do. I'll leave now. Are you a fool? Shen Xiang! You're like grass on top of a wall, hanging down on both sides. You hang on to the ninth prince on one side, and the thirteenth prince on the other. Today, with the ninth prince having fallen, you want to inform for merit and hang on to the thirteenth prince, am I right? Not so, your majesty. You misunderstood. I know the ninth prince very well, he's very ambitious. That's why I got close to him. Is this true? It's true, Your Majesty. Yes, officer. Good work. Stop right there. After her, quickly. Capture her. Thirteenth Prince. This woman tried to run away from the palace. His Majesty said she belongs to you, so he's letting you handle it. You may leave us. Yes. Liu Li, I don't blame you for going with the Ninth Brother, but you never should have come to Zhongren Fu and played with my feelings. Thirteenth Prince, you're mistaken. I have never been to Zhongren Fu. Why are you still lying to me at such a time? I will swear that I truly have never gone there. Also, I was not the person who attracted the butterflies for you at Yangshi Palace either. Tell me, who was she then? I don't know. Tell me! Prepare a horse for me, and some money. When I've left the palace gates, I'll tell you. You want to kill me? Then do it. If you kill me, you'll never know who she is. Prepare a horse. Can you tell me now? I'm still inside the palace walls. This place is still not safe. Then what else do you want before you'll tell me? Kiss me once, okay? You've never kissed me before. Kiss me once. Kiss me. Let me tell you, I'm not that patient. Quickly tell me who she is, tell me! Don't get angry, Thirteenth Prince. If you are angry and kill me, you'll have no one to tell you. And you'll never find her. You will never know who she is.
Luli treated you that way. She deserved to die. Why are you breaking the palace rules to burn paper for her? She is no longer here. Everything is like the wind. She was my sister. Inside the palace, she was the first person to be kind to me. Chen Xiang! I'm sorry. If you're willing to forgive me, meet me in the Imperial Garden. The Thirteenth Prince is quite an emotional man. But he does not say that he loves me. What is this then? Someone who would do this much for you, this proves he loves you. Why would he explode in anger at you? He could have ignored you. Why would he put up so many? Chen Xiang, there is a person you love who loves you in return. You are very lucky. Why is there only one? This one is our destiny together. Who said you could peek? Open your eyes now. How is it? Chen Xiang? Miss Chen Xiang, His Majesty wishes to see you. Respectfully greeting your majesty. Mild and well-mannered, clever and quick-witted. What a good woman indeed. Thank you, your majesty, for your praise. I know everything you have done for the thirteenth prince. I am very touched by this, as is he. But today I summoned you here. Not to praise you. This little brother of mine, from the time he was young, has suffered bitter hardships. I deeply feel I have let him down in so many ways. As a result, after I ascended the throne, I just wish to immediately give him the best. To pair him with you, though his heart is set on it, is not in the Empire's interest. I still have plenty of important things for him to do. If there's anything in his heart holding him back, it will be impossible to not be negligent. But when a person's happiness is compared to the matters of the Empire, this is a very large problem. The Thirteenth Prince is no ordinary man. He is truly my right-hand man. He should marry a Chancellor's daughter, improve the state's relationship. Instead, he'd rather have affection for you and have us lose the trust of another nation. Chen Xiang? He still doesn't know your real identity. I have ordered that no one is to mention it. Everything about you both should be thought of as just a beautiful memory. At this time, he is waiting for you in the flower garden. And you are to stay here the entire night. At daybreak, you may go back. Your servant will obey. I am departing. His Majesty is departing. Believe me. I will never be able to pay you back in one lifetime. I believe you. If there is only a shooting star outside the door, maybe I can make a wish to be with you forever. I have been making that wish every day. I hope that heaven may see my sincerity. Idiot.
For you, I'm willing to be a fool. By his divine authority, His Majesty has ordered that the palace servant Chen Xiang, for 12 years of palace service, industrious and frugal, now the obligatory service has ended in the palace, receive 100 taels in gold, along with His Majesty's gratitude. End of edict. Long live His Majesty. Chen Xiang. His Majesty put out an edict to reward a palace servant. This is the first time it has happened. Congratulations. Thank you, Gong Gong. Thank you? What did you bring to thank me? I will give you all the golden tails, Gong Gong. In repayment of the many years of kindness you have shown me. No need for that. Keep them and take good care of yourself. Until we should meet again. Chen Xiang. Congratulations. Here, take some for yourself. This one's mine. You dare to take that? Not going to work? Standing around spreading lies? Take this home and go find a good man to marry. Take some of this. Don't want any. Are you really going? They're inhumane. The Emperor is inhumane. If he hadn't stopped you, you'd be the 13th Prince's wife by now. What are you saying? Am I not telling you this for your own good? Will you do me another favor? Will you help me with one last favor? You probably should not hurriedly agree to help me again. What favor? Tell me. Help me make the arrangements, so I can see it one more time. Miss Tang Xiang, to tell you the truth, I grew up in army camps since I was young, so I do not know what women like. What's wrong? I am Chen Xiang. What did I say? Tang Xiang. Really? Fool, you'll never get what you want. What you don't want, you'll keep pining for. Humans have always been like this. Let's take our own paths and suffer separately. I have been waiting. Why? Because I made one mistake. And I don't want to make a second one. Are you really sure this is what you want? I have been asking myself that... I'd rather spend the rest of my life in Zongren Fu. Even if I were blind the rest of my life. At least I would still have you by my side.
Let me look at you. You are Miss Liu Li's personal maid? I met you before when I was young. It's good to have met you. I will always be with you. You must wait until my eyes have recovered. The first person I want to see is you. So it is you? But... Chen Xiang. I know what you're worried about. If anyone in this palace tries to separate us again, then we will go far away from here. You don't believe me? Do you still remember this place? This is the first place we met. I brought you here today because I have a gift for you. Thank you. 